Hey, it's Kelly Pfeiffer with Go Interactive Training. And in this video, I'm going to show you how to share a document camera when you are teaching or being an instructor in a Zoom meeting. Again, I'm Kelly Pfeiffer. I teach trainers and facilitators how to use active learning strategies when they're teaching adult learners. And it's 2020. Most of us are now teaching online. So I'm going to show you how to share on Zoom. So when you're in the Zoom meeting, I'm going to share my screen so you can see the tools that will show up. So you'll get this menu up here at the top. And I've already shared, so I have to click new share, but normally you'd click share screen and you will see these choices. At the top, you have three choices, basic, advanced, and files. So to share your entire screen or a PowerPoint slide, you're going to click basic and then choose what you want to share. But to share a document camera, you're going to click advanced. You'll see three choices, portion of screen, music or computer sound only, and then content from second camera. If your document camera is plugged in and ready to go, click content from second camera and click share. Now you should see the image from my document camera and I intentionally made this not look so great. So to make this point that before you ever go on and start teaching live, that it'd be a great idea to go on Zoom by yourself and share your camera and see what it's going to look like for the participants that are attending your session. So first of all, let's see, I'm gonna get the focus to be better because my document camera and probably yours too has a focus tool. And I'm going to write something on here and that will help me get my focus tool going to the correct adjustment. So you can see that's very blurry, but if I twist and turn, oh look, it looks fine now. So you'll want to get on ahead of time before you're actually doing your live instruction and make these adjustments so that you can see what it's going to look like for your learners and get to know your camera, get to know the, where the focus is for yours. And I have a QHD Pro camera, document camera. I'll do another video about that one in case you're interested in if you want to see that one and you want to see the features or if you're shopping for a document camera. But my camera has a light on it and yours probably will too. And if you noticed, when you could see me writing, when I write, it produces shadows on the paper. See the shadow from the pen or from my fingers. And I don't know of a way to get rid of that. But I also decided to add an extra light. So my camera has a light and I'm also using my desk lamp that, um, oh, it's similar to a desk lamp that has a shade on it. And, and I've got that shining light from another direction too. So I'm going to turn off the desk lamp so you can see the difference. This is, this right now is just the light from the camera. I'll turn the camera light off, camera light on, and then the desk lamp on. So you can see how that makes a difference. You may want to play around with the lighting in your particular location and see what works best. But I don't think you'll be able to get rid of the shadows. If you figure out a way, put a comment below this video and share with me so that I'll know. But I think that's just part of using a document camera with the light. So again, anything you would use for a flip chart or a writing, that you want to come back to, or you just really enjoy using uh, pen to paper or, or drawing things for your learners, then the document camera really comes in handy. 
So I'm going to do a new share so you'll see how to stop sharing. I'm going to share my screen again so you'll see those tools pop up. And I'm sharing my screen now. So I could click new share to go back to the document camera or to a PowerPoint slide or some other way thing I want to share. But if I'm done sharing, if I want to stop sharing everything, I'll click stop share. And then that will return you to the regular Zoom meeting where you can choose from gallery view or speaker view, whatever settings you have going on. So those are the basics on how to share your document camera using Zoom. As I said, I'm Kelly Pfeiffer with Go Interactive Training, and I'll be sharing more videos with tips for how to take your previous live workshop interactions and move them online. And I'll show, share tips, strategies, and tools such as this document camera. And if you're interested in my document camera, I'll do another video about the Hue, H-U-E, Hue HD Pro and show you some of the features of that one. All right, thanks, bye.